What's up guys, we are gonna take a quick look at the abilities that have been improved today. So this is gonna be piercing shot for ranged, and then we have, oops, we have rack for magic, and then also on melee we have the slice ability and punish ability. Now all four of these abilities have been upgraded today. Also, Great Concentrator Blast and Greater Sonic Wave share a cooldown, and Regular Sonic Blast and Regular Sonic Wave share a cooldown. Uh, so we'll take a look at that as well. So you can see, this goes on cooldown, so does Sonic Wave. But be to fix this, Jagex have made Rack a better ability. So this is more worthwhile using now, and it's actually pretty similar to Dragon Breath because of the ability damage. However, it doesn't do AoE, and it can actually do more damage when the target is stunned than Dragon Breath can as well. So it, it's situational still, but it is definitely still good to use. So Sonic Wave used to do 31% to 157, whereas Rack now does 40% to 140, uh, so it's still, it's still pretty good to use as a filler ability. That being said, we're going to take quickly just take a look at how these basically work. So, Rack is still the same. If the target is stunned, uh, you will do more damage to that target. Now, obviously, I should probably use a different stun. Um, but, yeah, you, you will be able to follow up with more damage to that target. It still has its really short cooldown of three seconds, which means you can use this every other ability. And it's not a problem. So, you can use that, use another ability, and then go back to using Rack again as well. So, you can cycle this through every other ability if need be. So this will pretty much always be available to you. And this is actually good because there was, there was definitely times where it felt like, I don't know, you, you needed something else. You just needed something else. So this is good. They've added this, you can do every other ability. That being said, the next one is on melee, and this is Slice. So this still has, this again, it's a three second cooldown. Uh, but this is going to do 75% to 115% ability damage, which is pretty different to Rack. It has a higher lower uh, threshold uh, and a lower higher threshold. So the, it's, it's, it's still pretty good, though. So you're still going to be hitting pretty decent. And again, it's every three seconds. So this is always available to you pretty much every other ability there's not really an, a, re a reason anymore where you're going to be sat there thinking which ability should i be using like this not going to have that um so this is this is good it's definitely nice to have a filler ability for when you're thinking okay what what ability is next because sometimes there's a little bit of downtime where you, you don't want to use a bleed in like a sunshine or a death swiftness um or i guess i don't know if bleeds get buffed by zerk but i don't think they do um but again, the same sort of thing, right? Um, so it's nice to have that as a flow ability. As for ranged, you have piercing shot, which is probably one of the more interesting changes as of today uh, because of the way it works, right? So piercing shot is now kind of like a mini snapshot. Snapshot, it just does two hits on the target and pretty damn good hits as well. Uh, and, and it's just one ability for two hits. Piercing shot now does the exact same, just a weaker value every three seconds, guys. Every three seconds, it's still on a three second cooldown. This is really, really good. Now, each hit only does 35% to 55% ability damage, uh, and it still does more if the target is bound. So if you if you just stun first and then you do it, um, you will do more damage. But it, it's still two hits. Now, the reason this is important to, to, to consider the fact that there's two hits is you will be able to take advantage of poison builds of this. So when you have Cinder Banes, you have a chance to trigger um, another poison hit whenever you deal damage, which is why Reavers are so good with, with range as well, um, because of the, the way it attacks really, really quickly. So this now, with Piercing Shot, has a chance to trigger their poison hits as well and more often. But not only that, you will also add, if you are on a bow, you will add more big stacks per hit as well than you would have done in the past because you're going to get two hits rather than just the one. So this is really, really good. So as you can see, it goes up by two stacks every time. Uh, so it's, it's it's good. It's it's good. Piercing shot is really good. Um, and you will definitely notice an improvement in, in kill times just because of this ability, especially at places where poison takes hold and, and takes advantage of, of the stacks of Bic and stuff like that uh, and the Cinder Banes too. So piercing shot is probably one of the more interesting ones out of the lot and um, it's good to see. It is. It, it feels good to use, like seeing the two hits and stuff. And it just it used to it used to be really bad. Like if you if you use piercing shot outside of a stun in the past, it just felt bad. Like you felt, ah, oh, frick, what have I done that for? Like, what a waste that was. Like absolutely stupid. But now um, it's, it's obviously good to use. So these abilities are definitely things that you're going to want to include in your rotations now, whereas... In the past, you would have ignored them. You probably didn't even want them on your bar in the past. Like, I've literally just put this back on my magic bar now, um, the, the rack ability, because it is now good, 
right? And I'm going to have to use this to Fortic with instead of uh, Sonic Wave. So we'll have to work out the Sonic Wave and rotations as well, the greater version when I buy that. And of course, uh, Rack is also going to be used a lot more often now. We'll probably just use this to Fortic in between, um, like using the regular Great Constrict Blast, Dragon Breath, and then Forticking into this. I guess, if obviously anywhere that's stunnable, you want to Fortic with Barrage instead of uh, like a Blood Barrage, like Ice Barrage, you want to use that instead um, because that applies them the freeze and the, the, the stun or the bind or whatever to make Rack even do more damage. But you used to do this in the past anyway, if you were going to. If the target was stunnable, uh, you would you would still do that anyway. And, but this is going to be really good damage now. Like this makes Ice Rack abilities even better, like, like really, really good. So definitely something to keep in mind. But overall, this is pretty interesting. I, I'm glad that they've done it. And once we've got a bit more information on it, and if there's more on the, like kill times and stuff, then I will go ahead and like do an overall video of saying the, this is what the difference of the abilities are. But for now, I just want to show you guys the difference between them so you understood what was going on. Obviously, range is... Oh, we've actually missed one. Punish. We missed the punish ability. So punish here. Um, this is now a 24 second cooldown, which is really really long, but this ability is super freaking strong, right? So this uh, just does regular 50% to 100% ability damage I'm not gonna use it because I'm gonna get it to do it once But if the target is below 50% health then the damage is increased by a hundred and fifty percent So like it doesn't it, it's not 150% ability damage then it's increased by 150% so this is insanely good um, and you will definitely be using this on any boss that's then below 50% health in my hour to assume. I don't know if you're going to use chaos roll with this as well uh, I don't do melee but I'm sure some people in the comments who do melee will be able to let you know uh, or let us know but yeah this is a really good ability so they've got the two changes which definitely need to be doing because punish was weak as well so they've got the slice update and then also the punish for when targets are less than 50% health this is going to be really good uh, a lot of damage so it's good to see. These changes are good. I send the patch notes. The only thing that stresses me out about this sort of thing is why they didn't announce it with the change to um, Sonic Wave. It was like a, like a guaranteed thing. They mentioned it on stream. It was a bit like all over the place. Um, but if they just said this at the same time, I'm not going to save a lot of people a lot of stress um, for the last week. But there you go. We've got the update to the abilities. Hopefully it adds a little bit of enjoyment to combat for a lot of people. You can figure out the new things, the new Sonic Wave thing, um, the new Rack thing. Piercing Shot range is going to be super fun now, especially if you've got above Last Guardian and you're going to be able to get stacks up a lot higher. This is going to make a lot of difference to range, I think, in a lot of places. You're going to see a lot of better cool ta uh, kill times at places with poison and stuff. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Let me know in the comments uh, if you're watching this like a few hours later or whatever, if you've already tested them out, how you're finding the abilities at bosses and stuff like that. Uh, if, you, if you're if you enjoying it or if you are struggling to like fit it into a rotation or something. But I, I don't think we will. We've got a three second cooldown. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you, if you did. Sub to the channel if you are new around here. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.